Hey guys, first of all, thank you for clicking on my video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the result of the benchmark that I made using Veronic Test Suite. In this benchmark, I will compare three different kernels from a general Linux. The first one is the Linux latest stable kernel 4.6.4 from the core repository. And the second one is the Linux real-time kernel 4.6.4 with RT7 patch set from the community repository and the last one is the Linux real-time kernel 4.6.4 uh, with RT8 patch set that is compiled from source and this kernel this real-time kernel is developed by me and a cool guy named Oberon from the Manjaro team and the reason that we do two RT or real-time kernel to compare is because there are a lot of changes that we made in the RT8 patch set uh, but we have some issues so we haven't released it yet and if you guys don't know what real-time kernel is please do a Google result first and this kernel is not for everyone you will not gain any performance uh, enhance from using this kernel so in a day-to-day -day basis you will not get any any good better performance than their stock kernel the main reason that you want to use real-time kernel is if you are using jack audio or you are a musician that requires a very low latency to work on so uh, this kernel in this benchmark uh, it will show you that the real-time kernel is having some is slower than the stock kernel and that's the reason why it's not for everybody so I will just show you guys the benchmark result here so this is the system that I'm using to benchmark so I have a Intel Core i5 4690K that I overclocked to 4.2 GHz and this is my motherboard MSI Gaming 9 and I have 8 GB of RAM I am using uh, Samsung uh, EVO 850 as my root partition and uh, Western Digital as my home partition I have a uh, NVIDIA GTX 960 as my graphic card and and then I am using KDE this is weird it shows no cell but I am actually using KDE here my NVIDIA is 367.635 and the rest is not important so this is the first result that I use postmark uh, postmark benchmark you can see that more is better and obviously the stock kernel is better and RT7 here is better than RT8 so it's a better result here the next one is the compression PB zip2 compression uh, they all do uh, mostly the same here and this is Redis with LPOP test and more is better and you can see that 46 stock kernel is always better uh, is still better here and RT7 is better than RT8 and then Redis shot and more is better they are quite equally the same here not very much difference and the Redis Alpus here also showing that the stock kernel is slightly better here and Redis get is also 64 stock kernel is better than all and Redis set is mostly s the same only slight like uh, slight like difference here so this is the overview of all the tests 
so I didn't do any OpenGL test because it takes too long to do and I don't have too much time for doing this benchmark and this benchmark is done because uh, of, a of a request from a user in uh, Manjaro forum so this is all I want to show you guys and thank you for clicking on my video and thanks for watching and please like my video if you like this and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos from me and have a good day I will see you in the next video goodbye guys